Dear Forex traders, in today's session, I'm going to be going over the trade which I took yesterday uh, on GBP USD. The trade took place on the 1st of November 2022, and this is going to be all my thinking behind what I did and how I executed the trade. Okay, let's get to it. So, first of all, I have my I have my two indicators, kill zones, which uh, marks out the Asia session, and high low day box. So that's that. So with the high low day box, I was able to see that the market was pretty much trending downwards. The market was trending downwards, just like so. Um, also, on the day before, I used the Fibonacci level like this. On my Fibonacci, I have three levels, 100%, 50 and 0. So all I needed for is to see um, the retracement level of the Asia session. So I was able to see that the Asia session box um, literally only retraced towards the 50% Fibonacci retracement level, which means that I'm looking for a decisional supply zone. So here's my supply zone. Now, if the retracement within the Asia session did something like this and it stopped around this level, I would be looking for I would be looking for a extreme supply zone, which is right here. I'll be looking to place my sell orders from this level, like so, to the downside. But because the retracement only went up to the 50% level, I have my decision on supplies on right here. It's a good one. We have a strong move to the downside. So what this is, is a drop, base, drop, pattern, right here, nice and clear. So now, during the open of the London session, I was looking for a stop hunt, liquidity grab, into this supply zone, into this order block over here. And my target, my target would be the low of the Asia session. Just like that, this, this would be the take profit. Just like that. So then I drop down to 15 minutes on 15 minutes. What I'm looking for, I want, I was looking for a good mitigation. What do I mean by that? I was looking for the price to go inside the zone, at least to the 50% midpoint range of the order block. Then give me a good signal, then go to the downside. If the price just taps into my zone and gives me a signal, I don't like that because I don't know if the price has finished um, mitigating that zone or not. So I like the price to go at least at the 50% level of the supply zone order block. That's if I am on 15M. If, if I'm on a smaller time frame, then I look for a um, market structure break. So the price ranged for a bit so as you can see here the price reacted to the zone but it didn't give me a full engulfing so I left it alone it's all about patience knowing when to execute let's remove this so now that the price has reached the 50% mitigation level within this order block I'm not looking attentively to what the price is doing. And right there, would you take this trade? Would you take this trade? For me, this is not enough. I need the price to fully reach and close within these two lines, two white lines. Then from this level, give me a strong bearish engulfing candlestick entry. Then I'll take it to the downside. Finally, the price reached the 50% level of the mitigation zone gave us a partial engulfing that's fine not the best but that's fine and this is how you place your stop loss take profit Asia low that was around 10% and I placed my order left and the price moved so quickly 
that by the time I came back to the charts, it has already done 10%. So that's how you take, that was my trade yesterday on GBP USD. Nice and easy, nothing complicated, just knowing when to execute, waiting for the price to reach the zone properly. Not entering here, not entering here, but waiting for the price to proper close within the 50% mitigation level of that supply zone order block. And then once you get any kind of engulfing, uh, whether it's partial or full engulfing, place your stop loss nice and tight, aim for the Asia low. And that was it right there. Hope you're going to find this useful. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.